When you think of Assassin's Creed, what do you think of? Probably massive recreations of old world cities and lots of parkour action and possibly some slightly dodgy sci-fi plot surrounding it all. What you probably don't think about is a side-scrolling, turn-based tactics game which arguably has more in common with something like SteamWorld Heist, which is what we've got here with Assassin's Creed Rebellion, which is a soft launch game that's just appeared on the Philippines App Store a couple of days ago. You can't download it in the US or the UK at the moment, so don't try. I've taken control of Aguilar, who's the hero from the Assassin's Creed movie that came out recently with Fassbender and that, which was not very good. And Tariq, who's another character as well. I'm controlling both of them uh, and using their various strengths against the uh, Spanish agents I'm trying to defeat. I'm going to use this armor shredding attack here, which takes them down to pretty low health. We're going to wail on each other for a little bit. I'll do a regular attack and down he goes. So as you see, you jump from like room to room, area to area. I've just spawned Aguilar because I've cleared this room. And now to get to the next room, you tap on the yellow icon. The question is, who do I want to send in? Tariq is more of a common general fighter. Aguilar is a sneaky, stealthy man. So as you can see, it's got this scaffolding over the top of these dudes' head. And you can see the 69%. That means I've got a good chance of being able to sneak over the top of these two uh, and get away without entering a fight. So I'm going to use Aguilar because he's a sneaker. Jump into the room, there he goes, and then try and sneak over the top. Now the thing is, as you're about to see, I just tap the icon. I put my finger on it to show you what it does. I can show you the different options here to navigate, but I'm just going to tap on the top option, and away he goes. He just sort of does it. So I'm not doing anything now, I'm just watching. Oh, but I failed! He's lost the initiative, and now I'm going to get into hand-to-hand -hand combat, which is obviously bad. I'm going to use my throwing daggers, which takes a bit of energy off automatically. Uh, and now, now I'm in a fight, now I'm affecting, I can't select Tariq until I've taken these two fools out. Which isn't really Aguilar's strength. He's not an amazing fighter. This is, ironically, the bit that feels most like Assassin's Creed, because, as anyone who's played Assassin's Creed will know, the combat is pretty simple, and actually, you can play certainly the first, like, three games by just waiting for them to attack and just countering it. Every time you just wait for them to attack and then press counter. So there's no, no point in even being aggressive because you can automatically just go boom, if you time it right, counter, you'll never take a scratch, even if you're fighting 12 men at the same time. So it almost feels a bit like that, just waiting and tapping and waiting and tapping. Pretty dull, not amazing. Oh, I dodged, nice work. Hopefully you can take him out. There we go. This room is clean. Now let's see what we got here. This is the objective of my mission. If I select Tariq, I don't think, I think he's just going to start a cutscene thing. So let's send Aguilar in to have a wee chat. And here we go. The funny thing about this is the art style is, well, really un Assassin's Creed, isn't it? They all look like uh, those Funko Pops, like cartoony, bobble headed type characters. It's actually a really nice look, um, but it's certainly not in keeping with their very realistic, uh, cool look. You know, they kind of want to look sort of sleek and sophisticated, those Assassin's Creed games, even if they're not really. The idea is I'm supposed to be building up a resistance to uh, form a rebellion against the Spanish, because we are around about, uh, was it 1400s, 1500s? I'd say. I can't remember because the movie was pretty dull, to be honest with you. Really didn't work. I've got a new recruit here, who's Luis Chico. A young thief who's probably going to have the same sort of skills as Aguilar. I shouldn't wonder. I'm only about, like, you know, three or four missions into this. Here's Maria, who you'll also remember from the movie if you've seen it. The location that I told you about. This place is well hidden, and with some hard work, we can turn it into an ideal base of operations. Ezio's turned up! Whee! Hello, Ezio! Long time no see! We're going to have a bit of cross-pollination going on here. Ezio and his brethren have come to Spain on a mission of their own. Have they now? They've come from Assassin's Creed 2 to say hello. Hey guys, how's it going? Brotherhood's counting on you to direct the restoration of this place into an efficient headquarters for our Spanish assassins. So, let me guess, I'm going to have to build up a base a la... Oh, there you go, look at that. With it all being side on, it suddenly becomes like XCOM to me. 
Building rooms. Each room provides different benefits. Requires coins, wood, and sometimes stone resources. So this is obviously a free-to-play game, and now we get into it. Now, there was building mechanics in Assassin's Creed already. I mean, you could build your own base up in Assassin's Creed 2, as I remember. Okay, building a living quarters, tapping in the empty room. There we go. Time to begin our fight against the Templars in earnest. Tap the missions. Let's get to this. I'm not sure about this. Mainly because... I'm uncertain whether Assassin's Creed fans will respond to this kind of gameplay. I have a love-hate relationship with Assassin's Creed, whereby I always love the idea of it. I always want to jump in and see what the new city looks like, and, oh, it's Paris, I'm going to run around Paris, and, oh, it looks great, and I spend about two, three hours clambering to the top of everything and jumping off stuff, and it's great. And then I remember that the missions are really dull and repetitive and Ubisoft has just sneezed a bunch of icons all over the map and I can't really be bothered to complete any of it because it's all just the same, you know, go and collect ten of these and jump on a, listen to a person talking and then walk back. And it's like, this is dull! So let Louis and see a preview of the action. Yeah, well this, we've already established this, it's still giving me tutorial business here. So, Louis, there he is, he's got a much better chance of doing the sneakage that's involved here, so let's send him in. He's got to cut this wire, presumably, and disarm the trap. There we go, good work. Now the other two will spawn in, and there we are, lovely. So, we're looking for who's got the best chance. Looks like Aguilar's got the best chance in this next room. Oh no, Louis's got amazing chance. 95%, send him in. He's the absolute boy. What's he gonna do, climb out the window? Yeah, he is. Sneak attack is about to happen. Oh, he's not even attacking. He's just sprinting by. Aguilar would probably have gone for the attack there. I've got choice of going up or going across. Let's see who's best suited for this. Louis is best suited again. Let's send him over. And once again, try and disarm this trap. Now, it's not guaranteed. You're just playing the odds. It's not a skill test because I'm not doing anything. The skill is in making sure you select the right person. So this is a stealth move. So rather than attacking, I'm just going to try and avoid him. As the little instruction said, you just put your finger on and hold to see what each of the actions does. I have to say, though, the presentation is really nice. I actually like this cartoony style. And... It's kind of a welcome break from Assassin's Creed main gameplay. And if you remember, they did try and do an Assassin's Creed proper game. I forget what it's called now, because it wasn't Unity, because that was the French one. Uh, they tried to do one on iOS, and it never really... Well, it took ages to come out, and to be quite honest, it wasn't great, because trying to do the third-person jumpy up-and-down combat and make it work on a touchscreen yeah, it didn't, really, didn't really work out. So this is much better suited to the mobile platform. And we've clearly spent time making it look good. And they've gone a different way with the game, and I applaud that. Whether people who like Assassin's Creed will like this style of gameplay, or think that this suits the franchise, I think maybe is another question. Right, I'm sending Aguilar up, because he's got the best chance of success on these various options. We can either do a bit of free running, we can either try and assassinate him, 65% attempt on that, let's try free running, because he's got the best chance of success by leaping over some stuff. He could still fail. 72% chance. Oh, he screwed up at the end, but luckily didn't die. And now I've got fatigue, so I've got only a few options left. Which is to jump down here and sneakily grab a thing. Intel collected. Letter retrieved. Brilliant work. Oh, look at this. So, no? Mm, maybe. Yes. Louis is our man once again for ultimate sneaking. Disarm the trap. I think I'm going to push on with this. It does seem like there might be something here. I'm a little bit dissuaded by, I assume you'll have to level up the dudes and maybe because it's free to play, you'll need to grind in order to get their level up to achieve certain standards at certain levels. Like, I get the impression that you'll just hit a level where it's like, you have no success, no chance of success on any of these missions. And that will be, that will be a problem. I've got to fight this boy. Go on, let me get into hand-to-hand -hand combat. What you got? 
He's got a dagger. And a surprise attack. Probably should have sent my hardier fighter in. Tariq is my hardier fighter here. But as long as he survives to the end, we'll be fine. Get in, son. Also, I win the initiative probably because he's a sneaky bugger. Ooh, nasty. Right, let's grab that intel. Get the hell out of here. There it is. Expect to receive your next financial contribution to the cause by the end of the month. Mission accomplished. He says. Yeah, there we go. Lovely job. All right, then. Assassin's Creed Rebellion. It's not out globally. When it does, we will let you know. Let us know what you think about this new Assassin's Creed adventure in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, like, all the rest of it. I will see you next time.